let us discuss what is the need uh, for p sequencer what is the existence of uh, p sequencer and m sequencer okay p sequencer and m sequencer are pointers uh, they are pointers both sequencer are pointers like uh, in case if you have a handle uh, so they are pointing to that object address of the memory stack okay this actually exploits polymorphism both are uh, different form actually they are trying to exploit polymorphism uh, where polymorphism is nothing but object for behaves in different form example for polymorphism m and p sequencer form are of um sequencer base object m sequencer is a pointer to the uh, um sequencer base m sequencer exists for every sequence and is initiated when sequence start and this is just an example now here i want to tell you uh, this is the sequence actually sequencer and sequencer handle and default m sequencer is pointing to that sequencer uh, now p sequencer p sequencer type specific sequencer pointer when you say uh, type specific sequencer the sequencer is a sequencer type specific we need to understand uh, you uh, you will have a, a different type yeah when let me library has different type like int bit if you declare some different data type it becomes user defined data type if the user defines apart from library that becomes a uh, user defined type that's uh, a different bit of type uh, that's why we are calling this as a type specific sequencer pointer now p sequencer is created by registering the sequence to sequencer with u uvm macros okay we want to register the sequence to sequencer with macros otherwise it does not exist if adding if anything added to the sequencer can also be accessed by p sequencer when i say added what is added it can be a, a other pointers or or else uh, environment we handle let us understand the hierarchy of a sequence now sequence user sequence user sequence and uh, this user sequence is coming from uvm sequence uvm sequence base and uvm sequence item uvm transaction and transaction comes from object object from comes from uvm void m sequencer is a handle of uh, uvm sequencer base up sequencer is user defined sequencer the uh, defined sequencer is a grandchild of uvm sequencer base when we start we are providing handle of user defined sequencer internally in the start method the child handle is assigned to the m sequencer so static casting happens parent class handle which points to the child class object m sequencer equal to pc user defined sequencer now let us also understand the uvm sequencer hierarchy now this is a higher uvm sequencer which comes from uvm sequencer param base like that uvm sequencer base request and response argument uvm component it comes from uvm component uvm report object uvm object like that conclusion a few conclusions which are coming with respect to m and p sequencer m sequencer and p sequencer both point to the same thing uh, they are of some difference so m sequencer is a generic uvm sequencer pointer uh, of the type uvm sequencer base what is the type uvm sequencer it will always exist for an uvm sequence and is initialized when the sequence is started now p sequencer is a reference to the uvm sequencer uh, parameterized with request and response the user derived parameterized sequencer class 
on the other way you can say that p sequencer is a type specific sequencer pointer because how come it becomes when you parameterize that argument with request and response it becomes a different type that is why type specific sequencer pointer p sequencer will not exist without uvm macros what is the advantage if you want to add some handles to the sequencer that can be accessed with the p sequencer drawback is becomes it depends it becomes it creates an additional dependency means sequence which use uh, p sequencer may not be executed on all the sequencers sequence requires resources in the sequencer class which is declared as p sequencer you can just read it like this way uh, p sequencer may not be executed on all point all handles uh, cannot be executed on all the sequencers sequence require resources in the sequencer class which is declared as okay sequence requires pointers to other sequence handle of the environment class handles i like so sequence is an object which does not have a life throughout the simulation sequence is created started once done dereference from the memory and this can be at any time of the duration of the test so if you want to access anything from the test bench hierarchy the sequence would need handle to the uh, sequencer on which the sequence is running m sequencer is a handle of type uvm sequencer bit which available by default in the sequence see no we here comes an point that by default they want to have a sequencer so uh, they are giving m sequencer so reuse for running any uh, i mean a number of test so by default it takes a sequencer now in case if you want to modify that sequencer uh, now you have to go to the p sequencer a real sequencer on which sequence is running would be normally be derived from uvm sequencer based class to access the real sequencer on which sequence is running you need to type cast m sequencer to physical sequencer which is generally called p sequencer though you could name it uh, yeah you can name it different now p sequencer is a reference to the uvm sequencer base p sequencer does not exist without uvm macros uh, advantages we can access anything like the pointers may be of the environment that can be part of the uh, sequencer can be accessed via p sequencer okay p sequencer is defined user defined virtual sequence which is defined user defined virtual sequence class okay p sequence creates additional dependency this cannot be executed on all the sequence why because you have different handles here there or pointers that's why sequences create require resources in the sequencer class which is declared as a p sequencer okay now let us take an example to understand you have uh, you have a uh, a sequencer uh, which is a uh, okay there you have clock monitor uh, now you in the test you want to access that uh, class monitor so what you do uh, you dollar cast p sequencer with m sequencer and then uh, m okay now you can access in the test bed my clock monitor equal to p sequencer dot clock monitor so this clock monitor is available through the p sequencer in the handle my clock monitor yeah so like this you can achieve let me know any questions in the description uh, thank you for all to conclude okay by default you have m sequencer now p sequencer if you have some extra handle or pointers in the sequencer you will have to use a p sequencer with the macros 
so that is the need by default you may have it sometime if there is change in the sequencer that's why we go for p sequencer now it references to the uh, um sequencer base yeah so however it exploits polymorphism uh, both uh, p and m are derived from uh, user sequencer base yeah that's it thank you